time for some blood from gardening tools. I've been waiting to do this one, so let's see some blood. We open the movie with some prick giving us a rundown of the story's events. And it looks as if cops have found multiple corpses. Move. No suspects are in custody. And enter the main title. Oil storage units continue to burn out of control. We start the movie with a group of teenagers stopping their van in the middle of nowhere. So wheelchair boy can take a piss. The 18 month old daughter of the couple chained in the attic. Don't drip it everywhere. Then a massive truck drives too close on the side of the road when it goes past. And he pisses all over himself. <laughs> they hop back in the van and they continue their journey. Bill Slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. Cool story, bro. Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? Great idea in these parts. I was at the slaughterhouse. I got an uncle that works at a slaughterhouse. Oh, great pickup. This guy seems normal. My, my brother worked there. My, my grandfather, too. <laughs> Very special indeed. Great wheelchair guy, why would the fuck would you pull that out in the first place? <laughs> wheelchair guy looks absolutely mortified. You can have your shitty pocket knife back, mate. Hillbilly's got a better one. I have this knife. But now who wants their photo taken? But always be. <laughs> they really need to get rid of this hick. Take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. That's a great idea. But they decline and that makes Hillbilly not very happy. <laughs> now they finally kick this prick out of their van. And when you get kicked out of a van after hitchhiking, you usually blow raspberries as a sign of affection. They continue driving to the next gas station because they are almost empty. But the local hicks are all out of gas. So wheelchair guy suggests let's go to granddaddy's farm. Great idea. So they arrive at the old beat up granddaddy's farm and it's an old broken shit house. Everyone's having a good old time looking around this old house. <laughs> Except wheelchair guy. <laughs> He's fucking pissed. Whoa, chill out, dude. So two of the crew, they decide they're gonna go down the track to have a little swim in the lake and maybe a little root. But they see an old farmhouse in the distance and they head there for some gas. Whoa, don't enter, that's home invasion. See what happens when you enter a property uninvited, you pricks? Now, Little Miss Short Shorts should have known better too. So if someone enters your house uninvited, detain them like Leatherface does until the law arrives. And try and put them somewhere easy so they can't get away. So it makes the job easier for the cops. <coughs> Hang around here for a while, short shorts. And give your free haircuts too while you wait. <coughs> now hippie boy, he's looking for the lost two and he decides to head down to the creek by himself and finds the old house. Now, hippie boy, don't go in there uninvited. Okay, you guys. Silly, silly boy. Now, while hippie boy is home invading, he gets a little hungry. Where can I find a good feed? Don't do it. It's not your refrigerator. And she's alive. Fantastic. And you're fucked. And don't leave the bloody fridge door open. The meat will fucking go bad. That's better. So now it's night and wheelchair boy and his sister decide to go look for the others. And how about fuck that in the dark? 
but they hear a noise in the bush. Maybe a lumberjack cutting down some trees. Nope, you're fucked. Just wheelchair boy getting his guts mutilated. He gets right in there, doesn't he? And sister, she freaks the fuck out. And runs like fuck. She finds the house and enters uninvitedly. Home invasion again, naughty naughty. So Leatherface is going to have to detain her, but she decides she wants to learn how to fly. Hey, breaking a window's damage to their property. So she runs like fuck again and she gets back to the gas station. And once again... Just let herself in. But when trash breaks into your house, you sweep up the trash. <laughs> he brooms the shit out of her. Ruthless with the broom, this hick. So he gags her, tags her, and chucks her in the back of the pickup truck. Now to drive back to the house. And no need for music in this car, because the squeals of this young girl getting poked with a stick is music to a hick's ears. <laughs> now back at the house with the crazy hillbilly family, Sister Hot Chick is tied up and contained and ready for the law to take her. We'll have some meat right away. <laughs> oh, that's nice, offering her a feed. But first... Let's feed Grandpa. He fucking loves it, doesn't he? Now she's having a good old time at this dinner party. And the hicks mock her. Now after minutes and minutes of screaming, they untie her for Grandpa to have a turn at killing. He was the best killer back in his day, you know. Useless old fucking prick, you dropped it. For fuck's sake, Grandpa, finish her off. The screaming is fucking annoying. Alright, three strikes and you're out, you old prick. Okay, have one last shot. There you go. Bit harder next time, old boy. But these dumbasses don't hold her tight enough and she wants to fucking fly again. Windows must have been pretty fucking thin back in those days. So she runs like fuck and they're hot on her trail. And this cunt has no road awareness at all. Well, he's fucked. So she jumps into the truck and uh, Leatherface, he starts graffitiing his name on the door. And fuck knows why, but they both get out and then they run like fuck. But the truck driver says, fuck this. Take that cunt and he drops his fucking chainsaw. Yeah, that's gonna sting. But he gets up anyway. And luckily a pickup truck drives by. Cheers, mate. And she's happy as fuck. And Leatherface just dances in the sunset. Hope they don't meet again in 40 years. That would suck. And don't forget about the black guy truck driver. And fuck knows where he hid, but uh, I guess it's safe to say you can come out now, buddy. The end. Look, on this one, the screaming got to me a little bit. There was just a little bit too much screaming. But um, I did chuckle a lot with Wheelchair Boy. He kind of, uh, he kind of made the movie for me. This was a good first type of slasher movie, really, when you think about it. One of the first types of real good slashers. Um, very budget, but very good as well. Um, 
everyone's seen this movie, but how long ago was it when you seen it? Because I'd seen this movie probably about 15, 20 years ago, and we all love Leatherface and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but because of all the new ones that come out, you forget about going back and watching the original, and this is fantastic. Uh, I give this 7 out of 10. Uh, blood popcorns. I can't give it an 8, but I would like to give it a 7.5, but we don't do halves on here, so a 7 out of 10 blood popcorns. I really enjoy this movie. Um, I love hillbilly. I love hillbilly killers. I love hillbilly anything in uh, movies where they're fucking killing people. It's just fantastic. Fucking hillbillies, you rock. I don't know why you've got to murder everyone all the time. What's the point of what you do all the time, but you know, you entertain me. You're entertaining me, Mr. Hillbilly. All your hillbilly families with your three teeth and your fucking kooky ass fucking uh, same family crest inbreeders, we should call you. Anyways, that's it. 7 out of 10 for me. Like, subscribe. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, as I say every week, because I've got such a list there. Um, but um, actually, there's one on the list there that's called Popcorn that I want to watch that I've never seen. So we're going to watch Popcorn. Um, yeah, I've never seen popcorn. Um, all right, cool. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'll see you next time. See you.